Hello! This video will show you how to apply measuring techniques when drawing from photographs. First, start with a quick sketch to rough in an approximation of what you're seeing. This should be somewhat vague, light, and loose. Next, we can look for some basic proportional relationships using comparative measuring. Today's inspiration is by Ewan Ugla. When using this technique, try to find a starting length that goes into others evenly. You can see here that the height of the fruit is equal to the distance from the top of the fruit to the top of the stem. A bit later, I'll check my drawing to see if I got that relationship correct. I'll use the same process to figure out how far below the fruit the picture ends. How big is that space? I can also take the fruit's height and measure horizontally. It looks as though this fruit is a little wider than it is tall. I'll place a mark on the fruit here to use as a reference point. Now I'll check my drawing to see if it matches those relationships. So I don't get confused, I'll label the length I took earlier from the photocopy as simply print. Now, on the other end of the paper, I'll record the height of the fruit on my sketch. I'll label this one Drawing. Using the fruit on my sketch, I'll compare the height to its width. Remember, earlier we discovered on the photocopy that the fruit's width is slightly larger than its height. It looks like I eyeballed that pretty close. Next in my drawing, I'll compare the fruit's height to the length of the stem from the top of the fruit. Earlier, we learned these two distances were equal in length. I can record this length with a mark to give an idea of how high the stem goes. Now, let's get back to figuring out that distance below the fruit. It looks like that distance is about one-third of the height of the fruit. I'll use that discovery to see if my drawing has the same relationship. Earlier, I carried the height of that fruit down once and made a mark where it would end on my paper. I can simply divide that length in three equal distances to find one-third. I always compare each of these distances to make sure they are truly equal. As you can see from my drawing, this gives me a more clear idea of where the picture plane ends below the fruit. Now using the printout again, I'll take the height of that fruit and carry it horizontally to get a sense of where the leaf ends. When I make this mark on the paper, I quickly check to see if there are any vertical alignments. I don't see any, so I'll just carry the height of the fruit over one more time. Sometimes I label the marks with numbers so I can see how many times I've measured something over. Now I can figure out where the leaf ends between these two marks. After a quick double check, yep, it looks like the leaf is about one third short of being two fruit heights over. Now, I simply apply what I learned to my drawing. I take the fruit height of my drawing and count it over twice. I divide the second length into thirds and can feel confident my leaf should stop at the end of the second third. Before I draw it in, I should probably find out how low the leaf tip is in relation to the fruit's height. Using a horizontal level line, I discover something. It's a third of the fruit's height. Wow, thirds are really becoming a theme today. I can now apply that information to my drawing. I simply divide my fruit's height into thirds. From the first third, I extend a horizontal line over to the right. Awesome! I now know exactly where my leaf tip is. It will be on this horizontal line where it intersects the vertical line we measured earlier. While I'm at it, I should check the printout to see if there are any other horizontal alignments on this level line. What do you know? Where the contour of the leaf meets the contour of the table is on the same horizontal line as the leaf tip. And both are one third of the way up the fruit's height. 
Now, I just need to figure out how far over to the left that point is, and I'll know exactly where to put it on my drawing. I'll just measure the fruit height over to see. One. Two. Hmm, less than two. Closer to one, actually. Let's see how many times that little bit goes into the whole length. Looks like a little less than a third. So on our drawing, we'll mark a third and eyeball the difference. Here we go. One, two. Like we said earlier, we just divide that second length into thirds and estimate something a little less than that. Where this vertical line intersects the horizontal level line is where our leaf meets the tabletop. When I drop a vertical plumb line, I notice it's close to where the tabletop meets the bottom of the picture. I'll adjust my drawing to reflect this discovery. I see that the edge of the green shadow divides the fruit into two even halves. I'll record that on my drawing. I also notice that the top left contour of the fruit has a really pronounced angle. I can transfer that to my drawing too. For the rest of the drawing, I'll forego the narration. Watch the video closely to see how I use the measuring techniques to find various shapes, angles, and landmarks that help me flesh out the image on my drawing. 